Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, I am doing a trying a new app out and trying to make a video at the same time. My nose is a little bit blocked, but this is basically going to be a video on how that you can um, just kind of like do computer tasks more easily. By the way, like let's say you have a big thing and you're trying to like select stuff and sort stuff and things like that. This is just a thing that makes it easier, something that I just learned, and I wouldn't even know how to Google this, so chances are probably a lot of people that are watching this probably don't know about this either, but a lot of people know that if they want to select a lot of things in a row, let's say like this many things, you hold down shift and you click, so you start, you have a start point, you hold the shift button down and you click an end point, and then there you go. And another thing I like to do is I like to turn these little status bars and stuff on on a Mac. A lot of Macs come by default with all of these things off. So I like to actually put these things on because it can tell me how many things I've selected. 31 out of 160 or whatever. Um, and this one also, the path bar. I like to know where I am, like what I'm looking at, where I'm at in my computer. So I, I like to turn that one on also. Um, but basically, so this is a trick that a lot of people know, holding the shift bar down to um, select a lot of things within a range. And a lot of people know about holding the command button down to kind of do things that are not in a range. Like let's say you want to skip a bunch of things. So I'm holding the command button down. If I let go of command and I click something, all my selections are lost so a lot of times when you're selecting stuff and trying to sort through information and you know you spend a lot of time thinking about each thing before you click it and then you just don't hold that button down one time and you you know you click it and it's gone that's a lot of time you just wasted for yourself so um, so the first trick here is a shift okay that's easy and then the second trick is holding the command button down. Now this, you have to hold down for every time you're going to click the mouse. If you click the mouse without holding it down, it's going to disappear. But the shift button, you only have to, you can let go of it between like, you know. Um, so there's a shift and then there's a, command button but a lot of people don't know about using them both together which is something that I actually just learned uh, by accident actually so let's say I want to choose every odd number for season one and every even number for season two okay so here's what I would do I would click here and instead of clicking through all these, what I would actually do is hold the shift button down, select the range. So now I'm at the end of season one. Boom. And now I'll hold the command button and deselect the even ones because we said odd for one, even for two. Okay. So here's how that works. Now, see I have 10 things that's selected. So this thing will actually tell me how many things I have selected. Now, like I said, we're going to do a range on the next thing. So let's say I wanted to start a range. Now, obviously I'm doing evens for season two. And if I were doing the same thing, I would have to hold command and click each one separately like that. You know, but we're trying to save some time. So an easy thing to do would be to click the first one by holding command. So I'm holding command. If I if I don't hold command, the, everything else is going to be gone. So you're going to hold command. Then you're going to click something else. Now you can let go of command and hold the shift button down. So here we go. Here's the last even one for season number two. So I'm holding shift and I'm going to click it again. Now, without losing all of these, I actually just created a gap and it was like a weird kind of, you know, pattern. So it's not as 
simple as you guys think it is. Like you can be a little bit complex with the selecting and clicking thing. So now I would hold Command and deselect the e the odd ones or something like that, you know. And so I don't know if that exactly made sense the way I said it, but let's try. So this will this trick, as far as I know, this trick will work anywhere that you can select more than one thing at a time. Here on this playlist, I can't select more than one playlist at a time. So here's this thing, and I can't select like the Big Bang Theory also. It's just one or the other. I'm holding down Command, by the way. I can't select a, a range of them either. I'm holding down Shift now. So this it's just one at a time, but within the individual files, you can kind of pick and choose. Um, now this also works here in the regular finder. So let's move that over here. So here's some applications that I have. And what I'm gonna try to do is, okay, first I'm gonna go every other one, then I'm gonna go like a range, and then I'm gonna go ranges, you know, like probably like every three or something like that. So here's every other one. So I'd click this, hold down command, Click this, like that. Okay, so that works. Now what I'm going to do is a couple of ranges of three. So I'm going to click my first one where I want my first range to start by holding Command. And that's the start of my first range. Now I'm going to move my finger over to the Shift button and hold that one. And click this. Now I'm going to hold the Command button down and click my next range. And then here would be the next three, and then command button, shift, command, shift. So this can like really come in handy, let's say when you want, let's say I want to select every app that starts with a consonant for some reason, like I don't want anything, I want anything with a vowel to be unselected and anything with a consonant to be selected. Now, in a list as short as this, you probably would just click the top, hold shift, click the bottom, and then deselect all the ones that started with a vowel or something like that. And then that would help you, you know, this might be like the quicker way to do it in this situation. But, Oh, here's another thing also, like when you have a couple in a row, let's say I wanted to deselect all of these, I can actually hold down the command button and click and drag. If I click on the name, I'm going to click the thing, I'm going to select it. But if I click in this blank area, I can actually, and it'll do this whole thing. So I, if, I, if I accidentally did the, the opposite of what I wanted to do and quickly change everything, I would hold down command, click in this area, and I have, I'm using a trackpad, so I use this like three finger shortcut, but it's basically a click and drag. But I would hold here, if, if you wanted to use a click, you would actually click and then move. And now it's just doing the inverse, it's doing the opposite of everything else. So now look, I have all the vowel ones highlighted and all the ones with the consonants unselected. I stopped doing that up here so it doesn't follow. So there's that. Um, so yeah, that would be like if you wanted to do all the consonants, then you would be like, okay, there's only five vowels in the alphabet and there are 21 consonants, so it's easier to deselect the vowels since there's only five of them. There's less letters, basically. So I don't know if that makes sense. This is like a really hard thing to try to, if, if you've never had to deal with like a whole bunch of files, then you probably never really thought about this too often. But I don't even know if there's a YouTube video out here for a thing like this, but maybe, you know, this will be helpful. It's really helpful to me. So then like, let's say you wanted you change your mind, I would just hold command and then 
click here and kind of do the opposite to everything else. So that's that trick. Um, but if you wanted to do it another way, what you could do is just look at them one by one. So I would be like, okay, um, so that's a consonant, 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 or I would actually just hold down the control button and then do all these consonants. So I click the first one, and these are all consonants. So I'm just, my eyes are just scrolling now, and as I come to a um, vowel, like here, I'm going to stop my drag and then pick up over here. And then stop it here. If I wanted to do this with vowels, I would start here, click my first one, I'll hold shift and click this one. So there's two ways to do it. You can like click and drag by holding these buttons or you can just do clicks. And let's see here, I come across two, so I would click this and then press shift and then let's say I have vowels all the way down to here. Just go to the next vowel, image capture. Boom, like that. So I don't know if this video helps. I don't even know if I explained it right, but hopefully the way I showed it to you makes sense. Um, now if I, if I wanted to do the opposite of all this, I would just hold control and let's see here, I'm starting to drag, I'm actually moving. So I didn't click in the right spot. I'm going to put that right back over there so it doesn't change anything. But you gotta pay attention to like where you start your click. I think maybe here it might work. Nope. So maybe this is a thing that only works for um, the finder. So that's like the opposite. Oops. Uh, so you don't want to do something like that. Oh, geez. All right. So just be careful where you click. <laughs> All right, guys. Take it easy.